volleyball was invented in 1895 by William G. Morgan, physical director of the Young Men's Christian Association YMCA in Holyoke, Massachusetts. It was designed as an indoor sport for British men who found the new game of basketball with two vagaries. Volleyball is a game played by two teams, usually of six players on a side, in which the players use their hand to bat a ball back and forth over a high net, trying to make the ball touch the court within the opponent's playing, playing area before it can be written. To prevent this, a player on the opposing team bats the ball up and toward a teammate before it touches the court surface. That teammate may then volley back across the net or bury it to a third teammate who volleys it across the net. A team is allowed only three touches of the ball before it must be written over the net. We already arrived at volleyball court and now we will ask them to present to us how they are playing volleyball. How to calculate the exact way to score a goal. I'm gonna drop super early and she just has to shoot it extra fast for me to hit him. Let's see if we can do it. Given the figure 1 of volleyball court, length and height of court is 18 meter and 9 meter respectively. I, Ami and Shakira already went to the volleyball court and thought how to calculate the exact way to score a goal. Let's go to the question. As we all know, the spiker must be at the end of the court and the setter must be 5 meter from the other side of court. Find the distance of ball toss by setter if spiker must jump 3 meter. Based on question and figure 1 given, the length of court is 18 meter and the height is 9 meter. Also, in picture given, the height of net from ground is 2.43 meter. The question said that the spiker must jump 3 meter high at the end of court and setter must be 5 meter from the other side of court. That means we know the distance of setter and spiker is 4 meter. So, 
we can use theorem Pythagoras to calculate the distance of ball toss by setter. Let's calculate. C square equal to 3 square plus 4 square. Let's solve the right first. C square equal to 9 plus 16. And we will bring the square to the right side. And get C equal to square root of 25. And we will get C equal to 5. So the distance of ball toss is 5 meter. But when I do more research about volleyball and found out that there are a difference of net height for women and men games. The standard net size for men is 2.43 meter and the standard net size for women is 2.24 meter. Reference are given below. So just now we calculated the estimated calculation to score a goal and we will find new calculation with new net size. The question is, if spiker must jump 10 cm higher than net height, find the new height of spiker must jump and distance of ball toss for both women and men games. So we know that spiker must jump 10 cm higher than net. Our first step is to change the unit first into meter. 10 cm to meter is 0 0.1 meter. Now let's find new jump height for both women and men. For men, new height is 2.43 meter plus 0 0.1 meter and equal to 2.53 meter. So we use the same method. It is theorem Pythagoras. C square equal to 2.53 square plus 4 square. Solve the right side first. So C square equal to 6.401 plus 16. And bring the square to the right side. And C equal to square root of 22.401. And we will get C equal to 4.033 meter. So new distance of ball toss is 4.033 meter. For women, new height is 2.24 meter plus 0 0.1 meter equal to 2.34 meter. Put in the same method, C square equal to 2.34 square plus 4 square. Solve the right side first, C square equal to 5.477 plus 16 and bring to the right side. So C equal to square root of 21.477 meter. And we will get C equal to 4.634 meter. So new distance of ball toss for women is 4.634 meter. So we get the right answer on how to score a goal for women and men games in volleyball match. Flat Hiram Building, originally Fuller Building, still film skyscraper in New York City that was completed in 1902. It is one of the city's oldest surviving skyscrapers. And the Flatiron Building on the 5th Avenue is significant not only in its unusual appearance but also as one of the key buildings in the Bex Arts Classics movement. Its architect, New York-born Daniel Burnham, is better known for his work and plans in Chicago than in his off -birth. In 1873, he formed a partnership with a John Welburn Root that was significant in creating a group of architects and engineers that called Chicago School. It names Flatiron comes from its resemblance to the clothing irons used at the turn of the 20th century. At its narrowest point at the very top of its 22-story, 285-foot, 87-meter structure, the building is unusually narrow, just 66.5 feet, 2 meters wide. The Flatiron building is a popular landmark in the New York landscape. So much so, the district it sits in become known by building's name. Hi, Ami. Actually, I really, really need your help because you're the only one I can reach. Why, Ami? How can I help you? My mom's birthday is just around the corner. It's 19 April and I didn't order any cake yet. So, I really, really need your help. Hmm, I see. For that, you don't have to be worried. I can do that for you. What cake do you want? My mom wants to go Fletcher building at New York, but we don't have any chance yet. 
because our family is so busy on this month. So, I think I want to get her a cake of Platinum building. Ah, I see. I think I can do. I'll do some sketches of the cake and then I'll call you back and show it to you. Okay, bye bye. Weeks later. Hi, Amin. Hi, Sha. So, I have decided before that, I will explain the box of the cake. Based on the website that I searched, the width, the length, and the height of the building is 86 feet, 197.5 feet, and 285 feet respectively. Before we want to calculate the volume of cake, we must calculate the volume of the building so that we can get the scale. So, volume of flatiron building is 1 over 2 times 86 times 197.5 times with 285 equal to 2,420,362.5 feet per cube. 1 feet equal to 30.48 cm. So that volume of the building in centimeter is 73772649 cm per cube. Because of the cake has to be tall, I choose a tall cake box so that it can fit the cake. Volume of the box is 40 times 21 times. Based on the website that I searched, the width, the length, and the height of the See, so how about the cake? So, for the cake, because of the building shape is right triangular prism, we have to use a rectangle shape box to bake a right triangle cake because right triangle is half of the rectangular shape. Volume of cake based on the rectangular box is 6 inches times 8 inches times 2 inches equal to 96 inches per cube. Based on the right measurement, 1 inches equal to 2.54 cm, so that 96 inches equal to 243.84 cm per cube. One cake box can bake two triangular cakes, so to get the measurement of the half, of the cake is we must to divide with 2 and equal to 221.92 cm per cube. To get the scale and the real volume of the cake, I choose only two measurements from the cake because I want to maintain the shape of the cake so that it will look similar with the building. For the length, 197.5 feet equal to 2370 inches. So the ratio is 8 ratio. 2370 and simplify it, we got 1 ratio 1185 over 4. So we got the scale which is 4 over 1185. Now we have to find the other side by multiplying all the sides of the building with the scale. So for the width, after multiplied by the scale, we got 3 points 4 over 35 inches, while for the height, after we multiply with the scale, we got 11.54 inches and round off to 12 inches. To get the 12 inches tall cake, we must divide with 2 inches. So we got 6 cake. 1 tray can bake 2 cakes. It means 6 cakes divided by 2, we got 3 tray. So that we need to bake 3 times or 3 tray at one time to get the 12 inches tall cake. Now, let's calculate the new volume of cake without icing. 1 over 2 times 8 times 12 times 3.48 equal to 167.04 inches per cube. Based on the standard icing thickness, there is 1 over 8 to 1 over 4 inches per layer. So I take the average of it. 1 over 4 minus 1 over 8 divided by 2 equal to 3 over 8 inches. Now convert the inches into centimeter. We got 0 0.9525 centimeter. I round off the value and become 1 centimeter. I will put 1 cm of icing on each layer of the cake including on the top of the first layer so they will have a new volume because icing were added. Volume of cake with icing 1 over 2 times 8 plus 2 times 3.48 plus 2 times 12 plus 2. Based on the standard icing thickness, there is 1 over So to make sure the cake fit into the box, let's calculate to double check the volume height, width, and length of the cake and the box. 8 inches times 2.54 plus 2 cm equal to 22.32 cm. Next, for the width, 3.48 inches times 2.54 plus 2 cm equal to 10.84 cm. 
and lastly for the height of the cake 12 inches times with 2.54 cm plus 6 cm equal to 36.48 cm now you can see that the value of the cake are less than all of the dimensions of the cake box so it so to make sure the cake fit into the box let's go wow that looks amazing good job sharp how about the price hmm based on your cake the price will be i usually sell one rectangular cake with price 65 ringgit per box but this cake is different than the standard cake that i usually bake because it is three times bigger than the cakes in my shop if one standard cake is 65 ringgit we have three tray of cake so the price of three tray cakes equal to 65 ringgit times with three so that the total price of the cake i usually sell one rectangle and this cake will take about two weeks. I will inform you when it's done, okay? Okay, Sha. Thank you so much for helping me. I can't wait to see the cake. Don't worry, friends. I got your back. Bye. So, guys, we come to the end of the video. So, to do this conclusion, we'll be invite Yaya to explain for the first case. In the first case, we can conclude that how to score a perfect goal is to calculate the distance of goal toss to spike. Okay guys, for the second case, we'll be invite Shark to explain for us. Hi guys, so for the second case, we can find the volume of the box, the volume of the cake before and after we put icing and the price of the cake using the application of geometry. So guys, we finally done our video. So we want to make a little bit of exciting. We want to challenge you guys to answer this question and leave it the answer in the comment section below. Bye!